Here's Daniel's forecast. We've got temperatures sitting in the 50s across Acadiana. It is 50 in Lafayette as well as New Iberia. You've got Jennings coming in at 52, 48 in Ville Platte and 52 for Alexandria, upper 50s out in Pecan Island. We've got a lot of fog out there this morning. Do take your time on those roads. The visibility is kind of sat at about a quarter to a half mile area wide. And there's a couple areas where it's a, a, a little better, a little worse, but for the most part, that's kind of where we've averaged. Take your time on the roadways. It is hard to see. Quarter mile visibility still in Lafayette. You got 50 degrees out on the thermometer right now. Winds around to the east northeast and they are fairly calm. We do have the possibility for some severe weather tonight that we're going to have to watch pretty closely. I think the stronger dynamics are just down over towards our east, but we're right on the boundary of it. And so when those thunderstorms start to fire up, and I think it's going to be close to midnight tonight, we're going to have to really watch them. Make sure that you turn those notifications on and stay weather aware. I know that it is incredibly frustrating to try and sleep through a night and you've got warnings that are coming up and it's for different parishes or, or don't doesn't apply to you, but it is better to, to have kind of a restless night of sleep than to not know one of these storms is coming through because we're going to be watching out for hail. Strong winds going to be watching out for possibility of some isolated tornadoes as well. Let's roll through the model here real quick. Front's going to come through sometime after midnight. I think the leading showers kick off around midnight and from there maybe two to four. I think when that front starts to, to really push its way through the area. By the time we get to daybreak, a lot of this is going to start to wrap up. We we'll, may still have some showers, but the severe threat will have pushed its way towards the east. If you are going to be eastbound here early tomorrow morning, or you are going to be there if you're leaving tonight or something, going, going over to the north shore, staying with folks out there, know that the storm's probably a little stronger out on the north shore getting into Mississippi. I think that's where the greater tornado threat is going to be, but we're right on the boundary of that. We're dealing with some of the same kind of dynamics, so make sure that you are paying attention. The good news is, is that we clear out Beyond that, beautiful weekend coming up with festivals at Cadien. For Saturday's forecast, we're going to be seeing temperatures get up to about 70. A lot of sunshine out there as we all get back to festival after a couple years. Beautiful, beautiful weather, not just for Saturday, but that will be the case for Sunday. And it will all, all of those showers will be over by Friday evening as well. So when everything kicks off, music starting at, at, at about 530, I want to say, Everything is going to be nice. It's going to be beautiful weather out there. Great, great weekend weather. And today's not bad either. We kind of set the stage. It's just a little muggy out there. I think you'll notice those winds pick up and that moisture increase as well.